Hey, so if you want more in-depth tutorials or have any questions, write a comment or tweet me at tarus underscore exe. This is a quick breakdown of what goes into making a landscape in Blender 2.8. First, you get a reference image from Google, so you can later realize that your picture is not realistic at all and then blame it all on your computer. My computer can't handle such large scenes. I'm sorry, computer, get better. I'm joking by the way. Install a landscape add-on that ships with Blender and add a mountain. Then tweak the settings until you're happy. This is not cheating, this is called using a bladder uh, This is not cheating, this is called using a blender add-on. Now you can add a camera, call out lights to imitate a sunset and an HDRI, this background image. Now you're nearly done with your scene. Only the small details are missing, also called the biggest part of your project. By the way, here's the water material that I used. Now you can add the first layer of detail by shaping the mountains. You can use you can use sculpting for that or also proportional editing. I used both here. Then add some basic materials to preview the colors. You can also use color palettes to get a better looking image at the end. Next I added some cloud images for some reason. They don't look good at all, so don't do that. Then I also got proper textures for my rocks and for the ground. I also added some grass on the left side, but you can't really tell. Um, the only thing that is different, it's more vibrant. So now this is the biggest change. I added some better tree models. I also added some clouds that look good. I yeah, this, uh, this is a way better looking image. I also added a, a volume in the background with a gradient texture, so the mountains don't look so sharp, it's quite unrealistic. I also added some mountains in the background to make the scene larger. Coming back to the clouds, I literally complained about them on Discord for 3 hours or so. Right guys? Oh wait, I don't have any friends. So by the way, here's also the node setup for the clouds. You have to apply this material to the to a cube and you have clouds completely procedural generated. So then I cleaned up the scene a little bit to make everything more believable, like the cliff at this at the right side. At the end I slapped a watermark on it so everyone knows it's mine. And that's practically it. Thanks for watching and go fuck.